on this week's KSP News Show. Kerbal Space Program to enter beta at the end of 0.26's development. We've got the full story. And 0.26 game plan revealed. All that and more on this week's KSP News Show. Reporting live from the Kerbal Space Center, it's your host, Jim Lee Kerman. Good morning, evening, and afternoon, my fellow Kerbonauts. My name is Jin Lee Kerman. Welcome to our brand new studio, our new look studio, and our new look show. And what a way to kick it off with these amazing revelations about Kerbal Space Program and 0.26. So yes, let's get straight on with that news right away. A couple of days ago, KSP Dev Team posted on the Dev Blog an article called Beta Than Ever. I love the little play on words there, and it kind of explains the subject of the article. It reads, Hey guys, it's time to talk about the future. I don't mean to I don't mean hoverboards and self-tying sneakers. 2015, we're counting on you. I mean the future of Kerbal Space Program. The next update will mark a big milestone for us as, at Squad, as it is the last update vo- focused on career mode. After the next update, Kerbal Space Program will reach an internal milestone we call Scope Complete. Let me back up here and explain what Scope Complete means. It, it means KSP now has all the features we considered vital to be in the game that Harvester came up with so many years ago. It doesn't mean the game has anything we, everything we want it to have, it means it has everything we considered necessary for it, for, to be, for it to be Kerbal Space Program. It means everything in the game is supposed to have exists, if even if only in minimal form. And it goes on a bunch more times to explain more in more detail what scope completion is, and that's always very good. Um, but then it goes on to say this. Beta means we'll be focused on creating content, on using the tools we've built. It means using a different approach, selecting which features to go in, since we won't be constrained by the development constraints of one feature requiring another. Priorities should level out meaning that things we consider important should also match what everyone everyone considers important. Beta essentially means we'll be working th- on a lot more stability, usability, performance, balance, aesthetics, all while still throwing in um, little and some not so little things we hope you will enjoy. To make this clear to everyone, we've decided not to call the next release version 0.26 as a convention would as convention would have it. Instead, once the update is out, will it be officially be in beta. So we'll be calling the next release 0.90.0 or 090. There's a ton of things we're, con- we're constantly discussing internally regarding what exactly exactly we'll be adding during the beta, but I figure I should at least tell you the first two things we really want to add to the game um, before we can call anything close to being ready. So the, oh, what um, is about to come up now is a list of things that they are planning to add into the beta, and maybe 0.26 or um, 0.90.0. Uh, We just don't know just yet, but the two things that they're really wanting to overhaul and create are overhauled aerodynamics. They say, the current system has been fantastic at, well, existing really. It can't beat at being a system that exists and works within KSP, but we can do better. We've been a long time planning a major overhaul to make it more realistic, reliable, predictable, and hopefully a lot less arcane. And the second feature that they say is sort of brought back from the dead, really. Deep space refueling. We are aware that um, this is one big end game mechanic missing in the game. Being able to refuel a vessel once you're out in space. This is originally set out to achieve with the old resource mining plan and saw ourselves running into a very tedious dead end. The resource system is flawed because it is overcomplicated accomplishing a basic need. To be able to find something out in space which could which can be used to fill up the tanks again. There, that is the essence of it, out in, um, and we don't need 40 plus single purpose parts and 9 different resources in order to do it. In fact, all that complexity is go- uh, was going to be very effective at making sure most attempts at building of refueling outposts would fail. We are now planning a new, more elegant system, which hopefully will add a new, fun element of gameplay, as well as a massive boost um, to continuity with the feature implies. Now, this is a massive, massive article, and I will link you it in the description. 
Um, it goes on with a massive, a massive Q and A about what sort of stuff they're going to add. Are they stopping development on um, not on Kerbal Space Program? How it's going to be after the full game releases? But they conclude with this. We want to thank you from the bottom of our heart for supporting our crazy project and all the way the earliest alphas, alpha builds up to scope completion and we hope that you'll stick with us from here through beta and up to the long awaited 1.0. Many cheers, the Kerbal Space Program development team and everyone at Squad. So that was just a nice little acknowledgement and I can honestly cannot express to you guys how excited I am to see that Kerbal Space Program is finally coming out of base, coming out of Alpha. It seems like it's been in Alpha for ages, and I don't know quite when it was first released. I think it was sometime around 2000, late 2011, early 2012, um, when the first version, I think that was 0.13, came out to the public. And oh my God, we have been waiting for this moment for so long. And I re I'm genuinely interested to know how the devs can actually optimize the game. Um, optimize it so that there it runs better on people's computers. I know that's one of the big things that they will be focusing on. But also just how, um, how the features that they are planning to add will um, affect the game and how the way we play the game. I am really looking forward to the mining resources thing also. I'd love to have a little like, asteroid base which mines resources and gets you extra funds and stuff like that. I think that would be a really cool idea. But guys, leave in the comments down below what you would like to see um, from beta. What sort of little tweaks and perhaps little gameplay ideas that could be added, as long as they're not too large. Um, I'd like to know, I'd like to get your feedback. What do you think um, would best suit Kerbal Space Program Vanilla? Um, perhaps what other support they could add for mods and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, leave those in the comments section down below. So those are all the updates that we have so far currently regarding the status of Kerbal Space Program's development and the development of 0.26 or 0.90.0, whatever you want to call that next update. Um, in slightly, well, completely unrelated news now, I just want to take a moment to point out our new studio and our new look show. Yes, that is right. I have decided, seeing as Kerbal Space Program is going into beta now, I've decided we can move things along. If you look, I have built it out of the Space Plane Plus parts. Um, this is all 100% vanilla, aside from the texture replacer mod. Um, but it has a varying degree of new features, which include the following. As you can see, probably either just now or just before, there is a beautiful zoom in and zoom out shot of me, Jin Lee Kerman sitting at my desk. We have the usual desk shot, which is the usual news shot. I don't know quite what to call it. The normal just, I don't know, portrait. I don't know what it's called. I'm not particularly great with terminology. But we also have um, two new boards, which I will put up now and now. And those are going to be for special reports. I'm not quite sure what those special reports will be yet. Maybe if you guys send me... In fact, that is a good idea. I'm going to have clip of... I've got a new feature, guys. Clip of the week. So what I want you to do is I want you guys to film the funniest or most epic thing that you have in Kerbal Space Program using any sort of capture software, upload it to YouTube as unlisted, and then send me the link, I will download it and I will feature it, feature the best one on the show, or I'll feature a couple if I think that they are, they are suitable. Um, I'm not quite sure, I don't think I'll set a theme, but if you just film something generally epic in Kerbal Space Program that's no longer than a minute, um, I will feature it on the show for you guys and I think that's a really good way of giving back to you guys and interacting because I really want this show to be something where it's more of a two-way thing so I will tell you the news and then you guys can give your feedback on it express your opinions in the comments down below and we could also have a little bit of fun and stuff like that that is my new ethos going forward with this KSP news show but aside from that that's pretty much all there is in this week's show it's been a longer one than usual and it's probably also later uploaded than usual because well I've had I've had to move my computer into a different room hence I probably sound a lot quieter and a lot tinnier maybe because there's a lot more echo I'm probably gonna be like this for the next couple of weeks just while I <laughs> I update mission control but until then guys my name is Jin Lee Kerman stay classy <laughs>